For this video, we're going to graph another polynomial function, but this time, naka-factored form na siya. So, hindi natin siya kailangan factor. So, the first thing we need to do is to determine the end behavior of the graph. So, we know that the degree of the polynomial, what's the degree of the polynomial? So, we have x here, that's 1, x squared, and then x cubed. Kapag multiply mo to kapag in-expand mo, you will know that the degree is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Degree is 6. And then the leading coefficient is negative because of this one. It's negative. So kung may negative, may degree tayo, even degree. This is an even degree. And then the um, leading coefficient is negative. So alam natin na ang itsura ng graph nito ay... Sorry. Let me have this one. Yeah. Then the graph should look like this one. Um, it will fall to the left and it will also fall to the right. Okay, the graph falls to the left and also will fall, fall to the right. Okay. Yeah. Falls to the left and then falls to the right. Can you ensure on graph that then? Then let's determine some other few points. So let's set first the zeros. So the, the first zero is this one. Madami na kakamali dito ha, kasi nag-iisa lang to. Nalilimutan nila that um, zero is a zero. Okay, solution si zero nito kapag sinabsitut mo yan si zero, everything will be zero. So zero is of multiplicity one. Is a zero of multiplicity one. And then we have 1 as another 0 of multiplicity multiplicity 2. And then we have a negative 2 is of multiplicity 3. Okay. And then we plot some other points. Okay. Uh, sige, ano mga points ang kailangan natin? Let's have uh, lower than negative 2, we have negative 3. In between 1 and negative 2, let's have negative 1. And then uh, between 0 and 1, uh, siguro 1 half. We don't want to work with fractions, okay? Let's have uh, more than 1. Let's have 2. But if you want to do 1 half, okay lang. Ha? Mas maganda naman yung... Uh, mas maganda. Mamaya sabihin ko siya bakit maganda na kuha niyo yung mga nasa pagitan ng mga, yung mga zeros na nakuha mo. Let's substitute negative 3. So, we have P of negative 3. So, let's have a solution here. Uh, P of negative 3 is equal to... This minus minus 3, so that's, that will become positive 3. Uh, negative 3 minus 1 squared is negative 4 squared, so that's 16. And then, um, what's this? Negative 3 plus 2, that is negative 1 cubed, that's negative 1. So we have negative, uh, sorry, 16, 16 times 3 is 24, 2, is that 50, 54? Yeah, 54. So this is 54, negative 54. And then at negative 1, P of negative 1. So P of negative 1 will become 1. This will become 1. And this will become uh, negative 2 squared. So that will become 4. And then uh, negative 1 plus 2, it's positive 1 cubed. It's positive 1. And then 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. Let's have a 2. P of 2. P of 2 is, so we have negative 2, negative 2 times, so we're substituting 2, 2 minus 1 is 1 squared, it's 1, 1, and then lastly, we have uh, 2 plus 2, that's 4 cubed, is 64. 64. So we have a negative 128. Okay, I think that's enough. So we're now ready to plot 
or to sketch the graph. So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. Then let's plot first the zero. So we have a zero at zero and then one. So we have at one and then we have at negative two. One, negative two, negative three. So we have at negative two. We have also at one. And then we have negative 3, negative 54. So we have negative 3. Let's have this at negative 54. Okay lang yan. <laughs> negative 54. So this is at negative 54. And then we have a 2 at negative 128. So let's have this as negative 128. Now this is just an estimation uh, uh, for the sake of graphing lang. Anyway, ang gagawin lang naman natin is a rough sketch. So okay na yan. 2 ta 2 at negative 128 and then negative 1 at 4. So let's have this at 4. This one. So let's plot the point. So we have this. We have a 0 at negative 2. 1 is 4. We have a 0 at 1. We have a 0 at 0 and then we have a 0 other. Ah, we have Two negative one hundred twenty-eight. I forgot to mention this is the first this is the first example. Ang degree natin six. The number of turning points. The number of turning points. Turning points is at most n minus one. So six to so it's at most five. We have at most five because we have six minus one is at most five. So at most five turning points. So pending four lang, pending tatlo lang yung turning points, pending dalawa lang. Pero we are expecting at most five. So ngayon yung behavior natin is yeah, to galing tayo sa baba, tapos kailangan baba din yung dulo. Remember, kapag meron tayong Odd multiplicity, it will cross. So this one will cross at negative 2. Now it will bounce, or tangent lang siya at x equals 1, or at 1, 0. So it will bounce. Or it will touch. It will touch. And then at 0, this is of an, an odd multiplicity, so it will cross. So take note that it will bounce and it will cross at this zeros. So now let's sketch the graph. So let's connect this. Then remember it will cross at zero. It will cross at negative two. So we'll cross na siya dito. Dere-derecho na tayo dito. And then it will cross again at zero. Yan. And then, of course, kailangan pumunta siya kay 1. So, kailangan bumalik tayo kay 1. Hindi naman siya pwedeng dumaretso doon. Because alam natin that uh, kapag polynomial function, kailangan smooth. So, babalik tayo. So, we will go up again at 1. But this time, we will bounce back down. Tama? Bounce back down. Para makapunta tayo. Doon sa point. Dito. Yan. Now, I think siya sabi ko kanina, you can, if you don't know this, kailangan, uh, except kayo at one half. So, you can, you can evaluate the function at one half para alam mo kung kailan ka pupunta. But anyway, sa so grade 10 math, hindi naman required kung, uh, ito to mga points na to. This one and this one. Hindi naman required kung gaano kataas or gaano kababa, kababa. Um, you will be needing a calculus technique or a, a a topic in calculus called derivatives para malaman mo yung mga maximum at saka minimum points. We call this relative, uh, this time it's maximum. Kasi, siya na yung pinakamataas. Okay? This time, this is a relative minimum. Kasi hindi pa naman siya yung pinakamababa. Kasi ito, pababa pa ito na pababa. It will go to uh, negative infinity. So, uh, for now, this is your graph.